Hi guys, this is Lynn. I will now show you how to create payments. To be able to do that, we need to set up first the tax rules. The tax rules can be found under the settings page, which can be accessed by clicking your name on the top right corner of the page and then clicking on settings. On the settings page, if you scroll under the finance settings, you would see the tax rules. Here in the Philippines, there is a 30,000 pesos non-taxable amount limit. So this is where you can set that up. This is also where you can set up the de minimis benefits, which are the non-taxable allowances that the Department of Labor and Employment, DOLE, gives to an employee. This includes the rice allowance, the clothing allowance, um, and as well as um, the laundry allowance. Once you've set up the tax rules, then you can create payments. So now that we have set up the tax rules, the next thing that we can do now is set up the payments page. So there are two ways to set up the payments page. One is under settings, which is applied globally to all employees. Two is going to the employee's profile, which is creating payments specific for that employee alone. The payments page is quite flexible when it comes to creating payments. Payments can be classified as adjustments, benefits, deductions, or loans. After selecting the payment kind, click on, click on the payment and it would show you a form where you could select how you would like to create the payment. So one example that we have is you could either choose if it's going to be debit or credit or if it's a government deduction wherein it can either be SSS, Pagibig PhilHealth, or BIR, or just a specific amount. Also, this is where you could set up when you would like to deduct the payment. If it's going to be per payroll or either monthly on the first or last payroll, as well as setting up a specific date for loans. After setting up the payments, the next thing to do is set up the compensations page. This can be set up in two ways. One is on the positions page. Two is through the employee's profile. Setting up the employee's compensation under the positions page makes it easier if there are a lot of employees under one position. Other than setting the compensation, you can also set up the days per year and the hours per day. On the same page, you can go to the allowance tab to set up the cost of living allowance, which is SCOLA. Um, other than that, you can also set up a specific non-taxable allowances or transportation allowances and others. For a particular employee, you can also set up a specific compensation under their employee's profile without affecting other employees. So that's it for creating payments. For our next video, I will explain to you how to generate payroll. Thanks for watching.